Hello and welcome to the special edition of the Homeland Security Report. I'm David Jones. Raphael's highly advanced targeting and intelligence gathering systems. The new version of the Raphael Lightning targeting pod will be able to serve in an air-air mode to identify targets that have been previously detected by the combat fighter's radar. According to Yuval Miller, Executive VP Head of Raphael's Air and C4I Systems Division, the advanced new Lightning 4 has been equipped with better IR and CCD sensors. The CCD is a color sensor that also helps in identifying targets on the ground, especially in dense areas. Miller added that the new version is not only a targeting pod, but also an intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance system, iStar. The Raphael VP said that the Lightning system in all its versions is now being used by 30 customers around the world with over 1,500 that have been supplied thus far. The new upgraded version is currently being offered by Raphael and its US partner Northrop Grumman to the US Navy's F-18 fighter jets. The US Navy's order is expected to be delivered this year. It will comprise some 300 pods. The pod is already used by the US Air Force and Marines. Raphael sources said that the increasing demand for the Lightning stems from operational requirements, namely to have a persistent look on the ground. Raphael has recently unveiled the new version of its Reculite self-contained, self-cooled, multi-sensor tactical reconnaissance system. The Reculite XP is based on the fourth generation of the system. Reculite simultaneously collects infrared, visual, VIS and near-IR digital images of large areas. The images and the data are recorded on a solid-state recorder and transmitted to the ground exploitation station via the Reculite data link. Reculite is a derivative of Raphael's lightning navigation and targeting pod, which is in use in the Israeli Air Force and several Air Forces worldwide. The new gimbaled version can be controlled from the ground to focus on areas of interest. In case of a data link failure, the system will send the images to the ground station immediately after the connection is re-established. The new version has improved sensors featuring a longer range and better resolution. In the past, the sensors required a cumbersome photography pod system, but now this is performed by the Reculite itself. An aircraft carrying the Reculite can fly along any border while looking sideways and afar. In the Israeli Air Force jargon, this is called gatekeeping. The gatekeeper is up in the skies but knows exactly who is approaching or already near the imaginary gate. According to a Raphael source, the new upgraded version can look at a number of targets simultaneously in ranges of up to 100 kilometers. The system can also be carried by a large unmanned air system, UAS, like the Predator B or the Heron TP. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching this special edition of the report. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, click the link below.